So AMD's Agisa 1.2.0.1 BIOS firmware has been officially introduced and comes with a range of bug fixes and improvements for Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs. Now board makers will be rolling out these BIOSes for each respective motherboard within their 500 series lineup. Now according to AMD themselves, the first public BIOSes for Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs are rolling out now. AMD themselves confirmed the following general fixes and improvements. One, a fix for false smart errors on Hynix NVMe drives. Two, a fix for intermittent SSD detection for M.2 SATA devices. Three, improve L3 bandwidth in IDA64. Four, improve stability for users who disable cores on the 5600X and the 5800X with AMD Ryzen Master. Now, in addition to the mentioned fixes and improvements, the Agisa 1.2.0.1 BIOS firmware also addresses the L3 cache performance issue that users were facing when updating to the 1.2.0.0 BIOS firmware. For that purpose, a test setup with an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X CPU and an MSI MEG B550 Unity motherboard was used. Now the comparison was done with both the Agisa 1.2.0.0 and the new Agisa 1.2.1 1.2.0.1 firmware. That's the right one, point one. As you can see in the Agisa point one version, it really does fix the L3 cache performance issues and the numbers are back to normal where they should be. Also, MSI has initially rolled out the Agisa 1.2.0.1 firmware on the following 500 series motherboards would be the X570 Godlike, the X570 Ace, X570 Unify, the MEG B550 Unify, and the MEG B550 Unify X. Now if you're running any of these motherboards, make sure you get the latest BIOS from MSI to unlock the full potential of your AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop processors. Now we keep you updated as further manufacturers release their respective BIOS firmwares based on the .1 version. Just make sure you head over to the site to catch those as we'll keep them coming as we get information. But we just wanted to bring you this quick and important news to you fine folks and for more on this and other news follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.